Okay, a good summer, they say. Have a good summer after Pesach. We're right after Pesach, and uh, where we read this coming up Shabbos, the Pasha Kedoshim, and the Shabbos before Pesach is called Shabbos HaGadol, and you know what the Shabbos after Pesach is called in the Hasidic world? Schlissel Shabbos, the key Shabbos, because they bake the challah with a key in it, why a key? A schlissel is a key. Why? A beautiful men hug. Because we read on Shabbos Chalamor at Pesach, Shira Shirim, and then there's a Pesach, Pischi li achosi rayosi. Open up for me, my sister, my beloved. Hashem is saying to Kali Yisrael, open up your heart a little bit for on Tshuva and you on Pesach. I took you out of Mitzrayim. I took you out. I opened up the gates for you. I took you out. Open up your heart. Do tshuva and I'll. Gemara says, you open up the hole of a pin. Not the hole that the pin makes. The hole in the pin. And if you open up that much of your heart, I'll push a pill through it. A pill in Hebrew is like an elephant. Which means you take the first step. I'll help you in your search for emes and kedusha and holiness. That's one reason for the shlissel shavas. Others say, a shlissel, a key... Key to a house, it's a segula for panosa, because you can't buy a house unless you have panosa. So it's a shlissel shop for panosa. Some don't put a key in there. They, they on top of the chale, they write with mon, a picture of a key, you know what I mean? Very good minig. Nice minig. It's a segula for panosa. But I know another segula for panosa. Say, Ashray very, very carefully. I mean, you get to the Pesach Pei, Pesach Yaches Yodecho Masbiel Chacharoson, and when you get to different Pesukim and davening, you sincerely daven slow, not 29 minutes, 55 minutes, really mean it, 45 at least, mean it, and then maybe Hashem will help you. And also, being very, very yashar in business, that always works. That's more than a segula, that's promised by the Torah. So, that's the Schlissel Shabbos. Very good, interesting thing. I thought I would mention that. Do you know that um, um, those people who put a key in the challah, key is made out of ancient times lead, little brass, you know, with poison, your lead poisoning. And if it's all pure brass, it does, it's not that strong, but brass poisoning. And sometimes it's nickel coated, nickel poisoning. Sometimes it's thick aluminum and aluminum poisoning. So they wrap it up in aluminum. Well, that could be a sakana, you know. And you eat that. So you have to wrap it in something that's not going to melt. So uh, you've got to take your chances. Um... Now we're in the Omer. Now I asked on, we haven't been together for two weeks. Uh, I asked um, the next time we meet, I think we're going to go to um, Torah Anytime Estates, out in the woods. You'll see the summer sessions are usually out in the, in the woods and forest. Listen, uh, I asked on Kol HaLashon, which is a... Um, all over the world, international to call the out of the neighbor, 718 number. Um, what is the number? I'll tell you. I ask a question. I have 1,825 sure. And that number over there is um, uh, um, where is that number? 1718 um, 535 then when you when you hear the man talk, you press plus one 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 oh one. I asked a question and somebody called up from London. Getzel from London, uh, a colo young man. He answered the question. I said you can call me anytime. Middle of the program, he called twenty four six. My cell phone number. And um, I asked the following question: If anybody here in Torah anytime knows this, call me up on my cell one six four eight four five. 826-4789. Anyone in the world who knows the answer to this, call me up and you get a prize. Mm -hmm. You know what you're going to get? A handset 
stone butterfly with 49 stones, because it's about the Omer, which is 49 days. Hand set, different colored stones, beautiful necklace, butterfly, filigree, you know, with stones all around. And um, you can wear it as a necklace if you answer this question. Anywhere in the world, A. 45-826-4789 or go online Y-C Schwab S-C-H-W-A-B at optonline.net Here's the question. Omer I in memorage it equals 49. How? The gematria it's not the gematria 310 is the gematria How does I in memorage equal 49? There's two answers. If anybody knows it call me. Oh, maybe you call me in the middle of the thing, maybe I'll answer the cell phone. That was the bomba kashom kol halosh, and one guy from London called up, let Getzel. He got one of the two answers. How does Omer, ayin mem resh, equal 49, because there are 49 days in Omer, right? Ah, second question. Is it Bo Omer or Lo Omer? Um, how come, third question, how come no broch of Shechianu on the Omer, in the beginning of the Omer, once a year? When we start off Pesach, we make Kiddush once a year, Shechianu, and Rosh Hashanah, we start the davening, uh, the Kiddush, and on Yom Kippur and Shul, uh, Shechianu, and, uh, and Sukkot and Shavuot and Chanukah, Purim, when we read the Megillah, how come there's no Shechianu for Sphere's Omer. And how come there's no Shechi on the four? Be your Chameis. You know there's four brachas that you make once a year? Be your Chameis, the night before Beza. Um On the new blossoms, I just made it. Uh, shloch, when you see the new blossoms of a fruit tree, edible fruit tree. Shlochisa, um, Barlomo, Dova, Barbarabo, Brios, Tovos, Vilanos, Tovim, Lahans, Behem, Bnei Adam. That's the second brach you make once a year. Be your chameis, ilanos. ilanos. Um, the bracha that women light, the Arab Yom Kippur, the lights. She doesn't say l'hadigner shal yom tov, like they did on Pesach. She says l'hadigner shal yom kippur. That's three. Number four is men would know this. Yom Kippur morning, shachras, after baruchu. Instead of saying yosor, they say haposeyach lano shavei rachamim. Once a year. Now, that's four. There's two more brachas if you live in Israel. You know what that is? Al Achilas Matzo and Al Achilas Moron. We say it twice. They say it once. There's six brachas you make once a year. Interesting, huh? Okay. If one said, ask you after Shkia at night during the Sphira, what number is tonight and you didn't count yet, could you tell him the number and then count a minute later with the bracha? Now the most answer, most of the time you're going to get an answer no. Tell him yeah, last night was whatever. Listen, you're tuned into to uh, TorahAnyTime.com. You're going to learn something here. And those people who go on Torah Lashem. If the guy tells you what night is tonight, number seven, you can tell him seven. And you can make a minute later the counting with the bracha. Because you know what? Seven is nothing. What's seven mean? Mishnah Brura Paskins. The word before seven, if you said that, you can't count. Ayom. And the word after seven, or eight or twenty or thirty, you can't say that. Lo Omer. But if you just say seven, what does that mean? Nothing. And see, what night is tonight? Twelve, eighteen, sixteen, fourteen, eleven, five. Nothing wrong with that. You can't say tonight is, or Hayom. And you can't say the word Lo Omer. Now most people don't know this, so they tell the average person to say yesterday was. But as long as you don't say, Mr. Buddha says, Hayom, the word before the number, and Lo Omer, the word after the number, it's not fine. Now let's say you missed 24 hours, didn't count at all. Can you count the rest of the Omer? So a person, most people say, no. Well, that's why you're listening to this program, to tell you the MS. 
you have to count every single night. You forgot to you forgot the brachas ten nights in a row. You don't say the bracha, but you have to count. What does one have to do with the other? The woman goes in and makes me. She doesn't make a bracha. She's not tahor. If you put on film without a bracha, you didn't put on film. You shake a lula, put up a zuzza, eat a matzah, eat a chomet, uh, eat a bamora without a bracha, you're not yosem. Brachas and mitzvahs have nothing to do with each other. It's a chachamim created one. The shep mitzvahs the rabbanon they created brachas you make for mitzvahs. One's not ma'akad the other. One has nothing to do with the other. You should make it, but if you don't, you still did mitzvah. By shek lula, by hundred percent yosem without a bracha, or eat a matzah or the mora. Think about that. The bracha is a mitzvah to make a bracha on a mitzvah. But you have to do the mitzvah if you don't make a bracha. And sometimes when we're in a soft fake, we don't make the bracha. We have one case, we put on tefillin, make two brachas, but maybe the second bracha is not needed, so we say, Baruch Shein Kavod Machuzot Rom Vahed. Sfarim don't make two brachas, they make one, put on two things. They hold this one mitzvah with two parts. We think maybe it's two mitzvahs. But we're not sure, so we say the second brocham. First one, the Haniyach, they say, Al Mitzvahs, and they say, Baruch Shein, that cancels it. Like when you total metal dishes made out of any metal, you uh, make a to be last Kalim, Kalim, if there's more than one. If you have a hand blender, it's all plastic, the bottom little blade of the bottom, you have to say, Atvilas Kaili, one Kaili, you have two of them, or 20 of them, or 500 dishes, say, Atvilas Kalim. One glass, Kaili, two glasses, Kalim. Two means anything more than one. Now, so for glass, you tovel with the bracha mid uh, Metal, silver gold, you tovel mid raisa with the bracha. Uh, porcelain in China, you tovel without a bracha because maybe you don't have to tovel it. Why? Because you only have to tovel for metal and glass. Not for clay cheres, pottery, which is made out of lead. Uh, 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 um, uh, 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 um, clay. What do you think China is? Porcelain is a fancy name for very fine clay and it's shaped and put in an oven to, to, find, to, to, to in a kiln to burn and then they smear glass around it and paint the glass and, re- and redone again. So you don't need a brocha if it's clay cheres because it's earthenware, it's not, it doesn't melt when you heat it like glass and metal. It's clay cheres, pottery, but on the other hand, you're not eating off the pottery, you're eating off the glass and glass gets a bracha and you don't eat off the pottery, eat off the glass. So maybe you have to make a bracha, but on the other hand, if there would be no pottery, the glass is nothing because it has to be on something. So we total all porcelain in China without a bracha. Something. Okay. How do we get on that? Why we said, why don't we make... Um, oh yeah, when you, if you miss 24 hours, you got to count every single night without a bracha. If you miss 24 hours. But if you miss it at night, during the day, you count without a bracha. And the next night, you count again with the bracha. But if you miss it 24 hours, you have to keep counting. Every night, even without a bracha, because there's a mitzvah to count. A bracha is something else. It's a mitzvah to make a bracha on the mitzvah of counting. How come you don't say on the first night, a yom yom rishon? Why say yom yom echad? Hmm? Why not Hashem when he created the world said he erev a yivoki yom echad that yom rishon? How come when the creation of the world is yom echad, sphere is yom echad, but every Sunday morning we say hayom yom rishon b'shabbos? Now, if you listen to this year for the last six months, you uh, went through this already. Rishon means the first since. Echad is number one, two. The purpose of the creation of the world is not to make a first day and a second day and a third day. The purpose was to come to the culmination, Shabbos Kodesh, the first day towards Shabbos. The first day toward the end of the Omer. The point of the Omer is Shavuos. They got out of the shrine to be physically free. Well, the purpose is not to be physically free. It's to be totally subjected to God's wishes. When you're a slave, Ebed Hashem, you're a totally free man. When you're free from God's Torah, you're a total Eved. 
The way to be free as a Torah, ain't a ben chorin, elamishasik with Hamad Torah. You're not a ben chorin, you're not free at all until you're involved in the Torah. You have 613 mitzvahs, and each one has 613 offshoots, millions of mitzvahs, that becomes a free man. Free? But you can't do anything. You can't eat this, you can't wear this, and you can't shave your face with a razor, you can't call a shovel. What do you mean free? You're free from the anchor that's pulling you down and driving you into Gehenna. That's the Yetzir Horror. If you don't see that, you didn't graduate kindergarten. The purpose of man is not to be an educated animal. It's to be a human being. More than a homo sapien. A human being close to his creator. Because only we have Nishamas. Intelligence that can, that can think abstractly. A bull can see a color, red or yellow, but he couldn't tell you the difference between light red and dark. I mean, he wouldn't, he has no reaction to yellow, blue, green, purple. We can say this is nicer than that. Beethoven is nicer than Chopin, but they don't, they don't have that, that tomorrow is going to be the next day or tomorrow is going to be uh, April something. They don't have, they can't think abstractly that one day they're going to die, that there's another world, there's invisible forces. They can't think abstractly, therefore, because they have no neshama. And they can't speak a word unless someone teaches them. But uh, when a little boy is starting to child or starting how to talk, and by the time he's by mitzvah, he makes a 45 minute drug show. You know what I mean? So um, uh, we have an abstract mind because we have, we have koich adibur because we have a neshama. Only human beings have that. We didn't evolve from beasts. No, there is no beast that can speak. A mind, a bird, a parrot, and a orangutan, and a orangutan yeah. They have 50 words, 100 words. They say good night even if it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, only human beings have Kalech Because we have a Neshama. We didn't evolve from any beasts. If there's such a stupidity as evolution, how come in the last 5,771 years there wasn't one single person that evolved from a, a monkey? How come it stopped 5,771 years ago? Hello? And those men who were living before the first Shabbos, the Nochash, that were cavemen. They had no Neshama. So how could he speak to Chavo? Who said he spoke? He motioned to her. So the Raal Bank said it was no nochaj, it was her mind. He ate to her. So why don't I eat from it? Okay, these are very deep, controversial uh, subjects. Um, let's continue with the Omer. Why are, we, why are we a bit sad in the Omer? We don't get married, don't get listen to music. So you want to tell me, like the Shulchan Aruch says, that um, 24,000 Talmudim of Rabbi Akiva died in the period between Pesach and Shavuos, therefore we're sad. Rabbi Sai, please, please, you know, a little Jewish history. From the time the Torah was given, and it was... Matan Torah in the desert, 2448, the year they got out of Mitzrayim. And then they, they were practicing the Torah 40 years later in Eretz Yisrael. Why do you have to be sad? Rabbi Akiva and his students didn't, were not in the world for the next 1500 years after the second bias. 40 years in the Midbar, 440 until you built the Bayes Rishon, 410, 70, 420, 250 years later, Rabbi Akiva. 1500 years. 1480. That's why you have to be sad for the first 1500 years. Shulchanot brings that. That's the reason. But, but there was no Rabbi Kiba for the first 1500 years. Now I have to be sad. So the Vudraham has another answer. Now, for the last uh, 1800 years, we're sad. Because he died in this period. And um, so we're going to get into that in a minute. And the, for the, the questions of, 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 Lagbo, of, of the, of the, of the Sphira. I'm going to go into it. That one student dies, they should get the whole yeshiva together, and they, they were not machabeting, machabeting each other, so they make him do slip fast, and all 24,000 have to die. What are they, slow learners? Learning deficient? There's a deficit, they can't, they didn't have, all 24,000 have to die? All? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and 49 days? 770 Levias a day? 770 graves a day? Think about it. All right, that's something we're going to get into when we get to the sphere. Now, listen, so answer is this. Abu Dhamma says, no, in this period between Pesach and Shavuos, we're a little in Tsar. Tsar means not sad, but anticipation. 
Will there be enough rain? Was there enough rain up to Pesach? Toshvuas for the next seven weeks? That the, all the grains will grow? Mm -hmm. Will there be from Shvuas until Sukkot trees and flowers, uh, fruits will blossom? From Sukkot on, will there be enough rain in the winter that everything in the ground will be nurtured? Look at the Vudraham. It's not only Rabbi Akiva. Are we counting till Matan Torah or Kabbalah Satoru? Yes, there's a difference, one day difference. There were first Makabal, the next day Hashem gave. When you order something online, I give my credit card, I'm a Kabbal. I get it a week later. You go to the gas station, stick in the card, I'm a Kabbal. Now they're going to give me, send me the gas. A minute later, a second later. First one, Kabbalah Satoru, that was on a Friday when they said Nasim and Ishma. The next day, Shabbos, they got the Torah. That's Matan Torah. What are we counting to? Kabbalah and Torah? No. To Matan Torah, because 49 days, the 49th day is Kabbalah and Torah. The next day, the 50th, is Matan Torah on Shabbos. On the holiest day, you got the holiest Torah. It's a good way to remember. You know that uh, Shavuos is the only Yantif in the Torah we do not keep on the right day. Pesach, they went out of Israel on the 15th, we keep it on the 15th. Uh, Sukkot, right day. Shvu, uh, uh, Hanukkah, the right day, 20th of the kiss light. Purim, 14th day, or 15th day of Adur. Shkodesh, Shabbos. Only Shavuos is wrong. You know why? Because Hashem created the world and He said, I'm going to make, if the people accept it, Jews accept the Torah, and 2448 years from now, then good, otherwise I'll destroy the whole world. And that's why He said on Friday, the Yom Hashem, by Hashem Kitov, was very good. And uh, Tov Ma'od on Friday. So he's figured the sixth day of the week and the sixth day of Sivan, 2448 years from now, they accept the Torah good, otherwise they wipe the whole thing off. Oh, back to Tohu Vavohu. So Moshe said, please, I need one extra day to get them ready. So Hashem said, okay. So he said, if the sixth of Sivan was the seventh of Sivan, but all the Yom since then, we always keep it on the seventh, uh, sixth of Sivan, only once on the seventh. Therefore, any single Shavuos is not on the right day. It's not on their anniversary because the Torah was given on the 7th. But Hashem planned on the 6th. But why, why Hashem planned the whole world like that? Well, how could one man's request change the whole criteria why you, how you built the world? From here you learn a tremendous concept. If you do what Hashem asks you all the time, one time when you ask Him, He'll go give in to you. But soon, your ray of Yasa, the wishes of his, the one you fear from, he'll do. Kodesh Baruch Hu goes there, Sadik Makayim. But one out of a million times, Sadik goes there, a Kodesh Baruch Hu Makayim. That's Moshe Rabbeinu. Now you know what you're dealing with. The whole world was built on the premise of the six day of creation. I think that's one of the people that are answering my question. Let's take a look. Yes, hello. Okay, I'm a bit of a cheer. All right, so that's not the one. Um, by the way, this man here, this man here on the uh, on the phone, uh, I mean, he doesn't have a computer, so he doesn't watch Torah anytime. He only listens to call the He answered interesting. I asked a question last week. I said, we'll get back to this. I said, um, why don't we make a bracha on Bittel Chometz? We make it on Beer Chometz to get rid of it, to look for it. If we don't find it, good, we look for it. But we don't make a bracha on Bittel Chometz. And we don't make a bracha on, uh, we don't make Shachianu on, uh, on, on Bittel Chometz or a bracha. And we don't make Shachianu on Sphir Somer because we don't, and answer, we don't make a bracha on destruction of something. When you find the Chometz, you just you want to destroy it, don't make a bracha on destruction. Therefore, um, we don't make a Shekhiyanu on, um, on doing the Sphira because sadness. The 24,000 Talmud, Nina Rabbi Kiva died, even though they didn't die. Vudraham said it's a sad period. We don't know if there's going to be enough water. There was enough water last 
winter to make the grains grow. Um, so we don't make a bracha on sadness or anticipation or anticipation. You're not totally happy. You don't make a bracha on on vitzel comments. You say in your heart, "Kol kamir mechamir." That's a legal statement. It's not a bracha. You don't make a bracha on the negative thing. Not on not on uh, bitl bitl no b or yes looking for it bitl comments no you don't make it on on, on here on uh, on 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 Shekhiyana. first of all you don't know if you're going to finish it you, live, you have to wait the forty nine days and at the end you don't make a bracha on the end always in the beginning and I, so I told them you don't make a bracha on the on the negative thing so he called me up he said yeah you do look at every morning davening shlova sani goy shlova sani ever shlova sani isha. I'm not talking about that kind of bracha, which is because Hashem, thank God I'm not a woman, I'm not a man, I'm not a guy. And the woman says, Baruch Hashem, you made me exactly like you wanted me, Shosani Ketsono. But negative, it doesn't mean, that's because Hashem, I'm talking about because I'm mitzvah, there's no mitzvah on a negative thing. There's never a bracha on a, on a negative thing. I'm making the bracha not to eat trade, not to eat chaylev, not to eat Abraham and Achai, and to, to take out the shakmas, and don't make brachas on negative things, or destruction of Hamas, you don't do that. No broken, no struggle, you're Shekhiyonu, we're not happy when we have to destroy something. So most from Jews don't make a brothel on new shoes. Because you have to destroy an animal. To uh, wear shoes. The Ramah said that's nonsense. Why not? That's what they're made for. You eat them, don't you? You wear sco- cl- cl- clothes made out of leather. Why can't you make brothel on, new sh- on, 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 uh, on, uh, on leather shoes? Why? That's what you, Ramah said you, you should make it. The world is knowing not to make it because you have to kill an animal, walk on them. Of course, that's why they were made. Now, what if you bought two hundred dollar pair of shoes made out of vinyl? <laughs> Maybe you have to make a bracha. Not seventeen dollar pair of shoe, a hundred fifty dollar pair of shoe. Maybe you would have to make it on vinyl. There's not even a sofik there. Anyhow, that's my friend Usher here. Very good, smart, but slow as I go, slow as I go. He said that's because I shepherd the thanking kinds of praise, like on the new moon, on the new moon, or or a rainbow, or on the new plant, uh, the blossoms. That's because I share No, because I miss There's no miss on negative things. Hmm. Why don't you count 50 days, like it says, Tisbru um, Hamishim Yom? Well, why don't you hit the guy Malchus 40 times? It says 40 times. The answer is up to 40, 39. The 40, uh, the Malachas on Shabbos you can't do, it's only 39. You count up to 50, 49. Uh, the Yidin stayed in the mid in the mid about forty years. Not true. Up to forty, up to forty it was thirty nine years, and uh, the Maraglim came back after forty days. Not true. They were there not exactly. I think a little more than forty or a little less. Uh, Governor Melk was a king for forty years. Not true. Forty and a half. Look at it. You'll see that there. It's a roundabout number. That's all. Yeah. Why do we say why do we sat for thirty three days in the Omer? Some people start at Pesach and end at Lag Omer. Some start at Rosh Chodesh Iyar and then go to the Shloshim Agbalah. Some start after the end of Rosh Chodesh Iyar and then there's no Shloshim Agbalah. Right to Shavuos, but each one is 33, 33 days. Why be sad for 33 days if they died from Pesach to Shavuos, which is 49 days? Why be sad for 33? If they died, it says from Pesach to Shavuos. At Seris to Shavuos. At Seris, additional days, like the Chalamoi of Pesach, it's connected to Pesach. At Seris means Otsar, it's connected. It means At Seris, it's, it's the um, additional days, it's like, it's like Chalamoi to Pesach. And besides Shavuos, because after seven weeks, Shavuos, also they made two promises, Nasev and Ishma, Shavuos. Anyhow, why be sad for 33 if they died for 49? Answer is, they died from Pesach to Shavuos, excluding the of Pesach, seven days, and two days Rosh Chodesh Iyer, and uh, one day Lag Bomer, when Mishim Baichoi died. If you subtracted 16 from 49, you get 33. All right. Where is Lag Bomer hinted to in the Torah? Go to Kol Aloshan yesterday, you'll see it. Call Halashim. You know the number? I, I, I told you I told you that. It's somewhere in the end of Shemini, uh, chapter 15, plus 13. Three Pesukim has 49 words. It talks about a Zob, has to count 40, has to count, seven days. And But the whole thing from the beginning of uh, 13, plus 13, 14, and 15, I think in chapter 15, end of Shemini, it's 49 words from plus 13 to the end of 15. 
um, 49 words, and the 33rd word is Moe. Oh, hell, Moe. Well, the 33rd word, the day in the 49 day is Lag Bomer. That's a Moe. And on the seventh word is seven. And seven times seven is 49. And the sphere is 49. And then it says on the eighth day, that's Hinter Schwurz. Because after seven weeks, the beginning of the eighth week is number 50. That's Schwurz. And it says on the eighth week, you bring two toad of two pigeon. It represents Schwurz, where you have two toad of Toshim Sab and Toshim Alpet. You go to the color the, the, the lotion. I'll give you the number again. Playback number 1718. 535-0520. As soon as the guy starts talking, you hit 11101. That's me. Otherwise, you'll never find me. It's too hard. We have 1825 Shurim over there. What does the Roshim Bayechai, who was buried in Maron, have to do with bonfires and bows and arrows and rainbows? Answer is, when God wanted to destroy the world with water, he told Noah, told Noah, I'll never do it again with water. And I'll put a rainbow in the sky to let you know that when I'm angry with the people, I want to destroy the world, I really want to destroy it, but I won't do it because they'll look at this sign, the rainbow, and um, I'll keep my promise not to destroy them with water, maybe some other way, but not with water. Uh, because the rainbow is an oath to Noah that he will not destroy the world again. So, if someone sees a rainbow, he has to make a bracha. Zoha habris v'nemum habrisa v'kayim b'ma amorom. Can't tell his friend he saw the rainbow. If the guy, his friend sees he makes a brother too. Don't tell your friend. Because it's a sad thing. It means God wants to destroy the world, but he won't destroy the world because he promised Noah that he's not going to destroy the world. Therefore, he made a rainbow. So therefore, you can't tell your friend. But if you sweep it, I learned the brook of a heart because you won't have a sitter. Come back 20 seconds later, it's gone. Zoche habris, Bachat Hashem Lekein Melchom, Zoche habris, Venemam habris of a kind of mamoro. Now, why is the rainbow convex? Why does it have seven colors? It's never this way. It's always that way. Because it's a bow. If you put a string across the bottom, the arrow only has to go up. Never, Hashem will never shoot down to the earth again. And um, why is it seven colors? Always on one side it starts with red and it ends with violet. You know the seven primary colors. Roy G. BB. Red, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, indigo. I know the physicists say that there are three colors. But um, in the artist world, it's seven. Roy G. Beebe. Uh Always that way. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, indigo. Why can't it be just cloud or seven white lines? Why is it be color? The Rabbi said we're dealing with the secrets of the world. Kedoshim, this week's Pasha, has 64. Sukkim, so secrets. That's why the majority of the Torah is in this week's Pasha. Rashi says the first Rashi, Rov Gufe HaTorah Teluibo. The major, major part of the Torah is in this week's Pasha. This week's Pasha, only 64 Pesukim, or some said there's 120 Pesukim. No, 64, so in the secret of Jewish survival is in this week's Pasha. In the Pasha, why? Because it has the Seres at Dibros, in the beginning, in code form. Then it has the Haktal Rechel Kamocha, and the Gemara tells us that's the main, cop, the main subject of the Torah, Zek Lal Godel Torah. That's it. Everything else is a parish to that. How do you treat each other, not how you treat God. How you treat each other, that's the difference. If you're a good Jew or not. If you do all the mitzvahs and all this stuff and everything and you cheat other people, when you get to Olam Haba, they kick you out in one second. Because they ask you the first question of the three questions. Nosato, Nososa, Bemuno, were you honest in business? No? Be'er Shachas, Gehenna, Rehab. We're not honest, you cheated people? You said no when you meant yes? He didn't say yes when you should have. He didn't say no when you should have. Your no was not a no, and your yes was not a yes. You're dishonest, you're shek, you're a shakran, you're a liar, you're a crum, you're a cheater, you're... Shem doesn't want to know you, that's the first question. The second question, when you come back from rehab, did you study Torah at a set times? Yeah, and the third question, to peace of the Yeshua, were you waiting for the salvation? You were? How come we have five houses, and a boat, and a car, and a boo, and stuff, and luxury? Were you really waiting? <laughs> or you wish you wouldn't come in your lifetime? <sighs> okay, everybody, Sai. Now let's continue. Oh, Shem Ba'yichoi, yes. Shem Ba'yichoi. So what does he have to do with Lagbom? He died on Lagbom. He was the last of the 24,000 Talmidim. Now, is he the greatest, or the least? Because at the end... Maybe Achron Achron Chavit. 
Maybe he's the most important. Maybe he's the greatest. Maybe he's the least. Well, why was man created last on Friday? And all the, the ants came before him and the tigers and the lions and the whales and the bugs. Is he the best? Is he the worst? So the Gemara asked this question. Answer is, if you behave yourself and do what Hashem wants to you, you're the guest of honor that comes after everybody's there, you come to honor, you know, and a presidential parade, all the police and the security come first, and he comes at the end. He's the guest of honor. The president comes at the end, the king, at the end of the procession. And uh, when does the guest speaker speak? At the end of the meal and dinner. You're the most hush of person. The world was created for you, Adam, for man. You are the guest of honor. It was all because of you. But if you're no good and you're a mushchas and a low life, the Gemara says, you're the least. That's why you're at the end. Yitosh kod mecha, a flea was made before you. So if you're good, you're the guest of honor. And if you're bad, you're a reject. The bugs come before you. So if you, so if achran, achran, chavid is so important, why do you call the coin first? Should be last. So you'll notice all the things that you do first, like a bris early in the morning, and everything right away in the morning. When God asks you to do something, when you want to honor Hashem, you do it first. But Yashkem, Avram, Baboker, even for the Akedo, because God told you, you run to do it. When you want to honor man, you honor man like God honored man, made him at the end. That's why the guest of honor is at the end. The president comes at the end. The Bal comes at the end of the procession. Because when you honor man, you want to imitate Hashem made it. At the end, you're the most harsh of a person. It's all because of you. But if you want to um, honor Hashem, you do that first. That's why Cohen gets called first. So Hashem Vayichai was he, when he was living, there was never a rainbow. He was the rainbow of the generation. He was the guarantor. There'll be no destruction of the world because he lives. He lived. He was, the don't need a rainbow in his lifetime. Because he was the guarantor, the world will not be destroyed. When Sadiqam are here, the world is guaranteed it will exist. That's why when that Sadiq dies, we are very sad because maybe we're not, don't have such protection anymore. And since God, the Shimbai Choyatana, wrote the Zohar, which means light, we make bonfires, light. And we shoot bows and arrows to remind us that while he was living, there was no rainbow. A Keshes is a bow, and a rainbow is a Keshes, and a bow and arrow is a Keshes. The bow is a Keshes. And um, that's why Olag Bomer is a Yontif. But if you figure Lag Bomer is a Yontif, then you don't have 33 sad days. That's why the minute after sunrise or Lag Bomer, the first minute is sad, the rest of the day is happy. Mix as a Yom Kukula, so we consider it one sad day. But most of it is happy. Now, isn't that interesting? Uh, when the Oval only sits six days, Shiva, seventh day to get up right away in the morning, because Mix as a Yom Kukula, a little of the day is enough. Mix as a Yom Kukula. Mix as a little bit, a minute. Shiva is only six, and then a fraction of the seven. Um, um, a minute in the morning, and, you, and then you can have, may be happy. That's why the Mission Brewer says you're not allowed to have any weddings at night of Lagomer. Only in the daytime, because you have to have one minute of sadness to fit in, otherwise it doesn't work out 33. But the uh, only time you can have a, a, a wedding is if it's Thursday night, because the next day is Shabbos. You can't have a Shabbos, you've got to get ready for Shabbos. I know... I know that our Moshe Feinstein permitted weddings even in the middle of the week at night. Mishabur says no. You have to work that out with your local Rav. Why? And um, one more question. Now go online and you'll see the 33 questions of Sphira, Lagba Omer, and Shavuos. And then there's another one there, the 49 sevens. 49 days in the Sphira. Do we have 49 sevens? Seven weeks of Sphira. Seven, seventh day of the week is Shabbos. Seven days of Pesach, Minat Torah. Seven days of Sukkot. The eighth day of Sukkot is different. Yom Tev, Shemini Atzeres. Yobel after seven times seven. Every Shemitah is seven. Seven times seven is after that. On the 50th year is Yobel. Shemitah is every seventh year. Shiva is Avelos is seven. Shiva Minim, the Lulav, the Esrik, the two Aravas, the three Adasim, seven. Uh, seven names for Yisro. He had seven daughters. 
Uh, seven names for Moshe, seven names for Hasinai, seven names for Yushalayim, seven names for Hashem, non-erasable names. Moshe Rabbeinu was born on the seventh of Adar. Ushpiz in the Sukkot seven. Seven branches of the Menorah. Achishveris, seven day party for Esther. Yom Tovim is seven. Roshani Yom Kippur. Shal Shugalim is three until it's five. Nechani Kampurim, two well, um, Yom Tovim from the Rabbanon is seven. Seven Mitzvahs of the Rabbanon. Seven Mitzvahs of the Noach. Seven Brachas at the wedding, Shabbat Brachas. Seven Heavens. Oh, seven books of the Torah, not five. In Baloscha, the whole Sefer by Midbar up to the Nun, the upside down Nun, is one part of by Midbar. Then there's two Pesukim with then the upside down Nun, and then the rest of this uh, Baloscha, which is, means Midbar. But Midbar is divided in three sections, which means we have two extra books, seven books of the Chumash, seven revolving heavenly spheres. We say nine planets. They just demoted one two years ago. Pluto's is now down to eight. Well, they're going to come down to Chazal. Shiva Kochvei Leches. Seven obligatory aliyahs on Shabbos. The eighth one is not obligatory. One pasuk of the Torah has the first pasuk has seven words. Seven children of Leah, six boys and one girl. Seven days of Hanukkah's Amos Beach. Two Rosh Chodesh Nisan. Kala walks around the Chazal seven times. You wrap it, uh, straps around your arm seven times. Number 26. Avram to Moshe was seven generations. The plagues in Egypt lasted seven days. Chalom, Pharaoh saw seven cows, seven sheaves of grain, seven years of plenty, seven years of hunger. Tumas Mace, you have to wait seven days. Klai Yisrael waited seven days for Miriam. Seven brachas, the Shabbos, Viyantiv, and Shemun Esram, Shabbos Viyantiv. You have three in the beginning, three in the end, one in the middle. Seven brachas, the Shabbos Viyantiv. Seven Rosh Hashanah, Musaf. Shiva Saminim on Eretz Yisrael. Shiva Saminim of Eretz Yisrael. The seven, wheat, barley, oats, rice, spelled, you know, chitas, or geffen, wheat and barley, and geffen, wine, geffen, rima, pomegranates, a date, figs, and olives. Noach waited seven days between each bird before he sent them out. Seven sprinklings of a coin on Yom Kippur. Rosh Hashanah one day, first day of the seventh month. Seven leap years in the 19 year uh, cycle, moon cycle. Sheva Rucha Hashem Mashiach. Mashiach has seven attributes. A <coughs> coin is obligated to be Metame. He's obligated to be Metame to a seven, closest relative. He has to be Tame. Zayin Nikiyim for women. Zayin HaKofas on Shana Rabba and Simchas Torah. Minimum size of the sukkah, seven by seven to Fochim. About 28 inches by 28 inches. Yericho, they went around 70 to- seven times. Yaakov worked for Lovin seven years, twice. Seven brachos of Shema. Three in the morning, four in the evening. Shiva Nevios. Sarah, Miriam, Devorah, Chana, Abigail, Chulza, Esther. Devorah was the one in the VM. She was the only one that was a Shofetas for 40 years. Ebed Ivri works for seven years. At the end of Yom Kippur, Hashem, who will Akim, you say seven times. And Mitzorah has to wait intervals, intervals of quarantine. And we have Mitzorah, seven days. Seven nations of Canaan. There are many, many more. We just mentioned 49. There are many more sevens. We cannot include them in the list. For example, Shiva Devar and Magolov, seven things identified in ignorant that identifies an ignoramus. Shema Tefilas and Shabbos Yontem, we said that, seven Tefilas and Shabbos Yontem. The Shemun has seven brachas. Seven types of liquids are Kemetame, food, Yod, Shoch, and Dam. Yeah. Seven letters in the Torah that need three targen on top. Shatnes Gats. The Torah is loaded with this stuff. Go on, line, print this down. Seven, forty-nine sevens. There's more than forty-nine. And then, uh, I think we're finished now, Rabbi Yisai. Next time we'll meet, maybe we'll meet again this week, and we'll do the 33 questions of Sphira, Lagba Omer, and Shavuos. You want to know how, um, shall I tell you the answer, how Omer is 49? Or you want to call me? Ayin Memresh, how is that 49? Call me up on my cell phone, 
845-826-4789. You get a 49-stone um, butterfly necklace. Voice like, like, so.